We have a good connection with the players. We really take insight into what they love and include it into a creative design and then spill some golden diamonds on it. I mean, that's what they will come to us for. So. <laughs> the way it started, Sole Kai Kai actually, he plays with Crystal Palace. We made a piece for him, told one of his friends, with his Aaron Wambasaka, he came to us. We got another word of mouth from there. Ben Teke, he also wanted something as well. Out of coincidence, one of my colleagues actually saw Zaha, who was another Crystal Palace player. And then the ball keeps rolling, ball keeps rolling. Couldn't ask for more, really. No, thanks, guys, man. This is a mad thing. Wolfred Zaha, my colleague met him in a club in Miami, and they were on both different sections of the club, and we gave him a VVS pendant. He's given one of his things to me on holiday out the blue, and he's like, you know what? We'll be in contact, innit? So take this. Considering the value of a VVS pendant, you, and you can see it was shining in the club, Zaha was quite shocked. They started talking after that, and before you know it, we're making a custom piece for him. With the Zaha piece, Faith Only was something that kept popping up. Faith Only, it applies to me in so many ways because obviously I've had mad stages in my life football-wise. I've gone, obviously I've gone to Man United and it's like when you're not playing, the only thing that kept me going is Faith Only. Knowing how closely he kept that phrase to his heart, we just stuck with it. As soon as I knew what I was going to make the pendant about, I sketched up a few of the designs and then we developed that idea and that's how quickly it happened. <laughs> working with Aaron Wambasaka came across because we were working with one of his teammates. Very, very, very good dude. Um, we chopped it up a bit, went to his house, played a few games of FIFA, met his dog and eventually I even just drew the, the pendant and ring set for him right there in his front room. So he loved it. We made the piece, it came out sparkling. Aaron. He's a very subtle guy, but when it comes to his jewellery, that stuff shines like nothing else. Um, he opted for white gold and VVS, so it was nice to give him exactly what he wanted. It's a statement. It's a humble stunt. <laughs> Christian Benteke came about because he was, in fact, looking for something already. Christian Benteke, he's, do you know what I mean, a quite established man. He wanted something nice and subtle, so we said, you know what? We got something nice and subtle here for you. Again, a humble stunt. You can have a nice tennis chain. This one here is 12 grand. We actually came to Crystal Palace football grounds. Um, and once we got through the barrage of security, <laughs> we managed to get hold of uh, Christian. He came after he invited us. He walked us to the changing room. We had a discussion with him and we handed him his jewels and he loved it as well. I mean, we don't just buy and sell jewelry. We take in the life around us and we design it accordingly and we produce sparkling, dazzling, golden diamond pendants from it. <laughs>